I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to the Delaware Way. When you think of the Girl Scouts, what do you think about? cookies, right? They are much more than just that. Now to talk more about the Girl Scouts in Delaware, Ann Hogan, who is CEO of the Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay and also Ambassador Ava Gulino. Did I get it right? Yes. Ava Gulino. And she's got a special award we want to talk about in one second. But let's talk about the image mm -hmm. of the Girl Scouts. People think of cookies, right? But Absolutely. It's, but what is the Girl Scouts? Girl what Scouts, else do they do? Girl Scouts have changed at the speed of girls. Today, Girl Scouts at the Chesapeake Bay are very involved with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We have a STEM center out in Hocassin, and we also have a media center there. We have girls doing all kinds of experiments, enjoying science, because Larry, when girls take science classes with boys, they don't always perform as well as they could. But in a single girl environment, they have a lot of fun, they try different things, and they can make mistakes. And a lot of this is based on research. I've seen Absolute, the research yes. on the girls falling behind in math mm -hmm, and science. Mm -hmm. And so uh, is there research the other way, that when you take them out of an environment where there's boys or there's boys being called on or boys being more aggressive in a classroom, that they do better? Well, the Girl Scout Research Institute has done lots of research on it. And we find that girls performing in an environment where it's all girls, they're working together as a team. They try different things. They go back to school, and they're not as afraid, and they perform in the classroom. You received the big award. She also received mm, she an award. Did. Uh, why don't you talk about the award first, and then we'll get it from Ava sure. as well. Sure. Well, I'll let you. Ava will tell you all about it. But in Girl Scouting, there's three awards: the bronze, the silver, and gold. So juniors, cadets, and seniors. Gold is the highest award a girl can earn, and it's comparable to the eagle. Award. It takes a few years, lots and lots of commitment, and it has to be sustainable. So now let's let yeah Ava no and tell now, you so how did you did. how did you earn this award? So this summer I did my project entitled Reorganize and Restock the Attic, and this took place at the Northern New the Family Promise of Northern Newcastle County's Day Center, it's in Wilmington, Delaware. And Family Promise is an organization that helps uh, families experiencing homelessness find permanent housing. And so the attic is this space where um, they have household goods that families go and shop at, um, shop and get their stuff when they're ready to go into permanent housing. And the space was completely disorganized and cluttered, so my project was all about getting that revamped for them and making it a better space. So. That and you're like project. a project manager with that? Yeah, you, so you, definitely you, the focus of the Gold Award is leadership. So I was you know, the leader, and I was, you know, having my worker bees to carry out the tasks. So I, it's mainly, it's still supposed to be sustainable and also show leadership. Now, you should, you should feel good because I'm sure that you were brought in today because you're a shining example of the Girl Scouts. Yes. Do you, how long have you been involved? I've been uh, since first grade. So this is my 12th year. Wow. Yeah. And, and you're 17 years old? Yes. So you're going to move on now to college and, and go through life. How do you feel the Girl Scouts has been a part of preparing you for college and life? I think just the friendship aspect. I just think making friends and knowing that there's so many amazing people out there. I just think the friend aspect of it. Look at, look at she's a shining example of what Girl Scouting can do. Here is a young lady who truly is a leader. And she had an opportunity to go way far away, and she should tell you about that. Um, she's had an opportunity to try different things, and she's taking advantage of it. So. You know what's so important about what she just said, when mm -hmm. she said it was the friend aspect of mm -hmm. it? Because if people, if, if young girls think that it's science and math right. and things like that, they may not get involved, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. friendship, mm -hmm. camaraderie, people going through the same experience, that will attract young yeah. girls to, to it, and then they'll learn all these skills you're talking sure. about at the same time. The leadership time. comes with it and the team building, et cetera, et cetera. Let's talk about your success now. We talked about Ava's success for a second. You get a brand new building. Almost, yes. How exciting. Yes, we will be moving into the Northern Resource Center in December. Very, very excited about that. We will own that building. A couple of other big important things this year. First, the Girl Scouts on the Delmarva Peninsula, which is the Girl Scouts of Chesapeake Bay, so we have the eastern shore of Maryland and the tip of Virginia. We, next year, this year, are celebrating a hundredth anniversary. Girl Scouts have been on this peninsula a hundred years. Wow. Are they as popular as ever, the Girl Scouts? You know, there are so many things for girls today. 
I think we are popular because of the activities and the badge work that we can do. We don't have, you know, 25,000 girls, but we have a solid almost 10,000 girls. There's so many more activities girls can participate outside of Girl Scouting, so we focus on being the premier leadership organization for girls. Great. And thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. I really appreciate thank it. You. Ann Hogan, the CEO of Girl Scouts of Chesapeake Bay and also Ambassador Ava Galino, thank you. I really appreciate you both being here. When we come back, there is a one-of-a-kind museum that deals with airplanes. And where do you see the airplanes that we're talking about? It's only here in Delaware. You're not going to find it anywhere else. That's when we come back. <laughs>